Okay, Christy, thank you. Off the top at six tonight, a wild story that you'll only see on Local 10 News. A teenager under arrest accused of running over a police officer. The officer's injuries were so bad that he had to be... You guys see that? So now this, this kid right here ran over police officer. So the laws took two L's. The laws took two L's. This kid right here, which he's probably not a kid. They just called him a kid on the news. Ran over the police. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Look, look, at, look up that story. It was in uh it was in the Washington Herald. I might have to do a throwback live stream on it. Like ridiculous. We rushed to the hospital. And tonight we've learned that the teen suspect is the son of a very important man. Let's get right over local times Rosh Low live in Sunny Isles Beach with this exclusive. Rosh. Tonight we have a lot for you on a very interesting story. We'll begin here. The teen of a diplomat from Israel to the United States has been arrested in Sunny Isles Beach for running over a police officer. Tonight we have photos of all the injuries. And in addition, there Hey, what's up with all these people that's not from the United States beating up the police officers? <laughs> Y'all notice that? It's like a pattern of that. You know what I'm saying? A pattern of these cats that's not from the United States just whooping off on the police officer. The police officers just sitting there getting whooped. You know what I'm saying? They, the police officers just taking their whoopings. You know what I'm saying? They taking their little L's. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there are issues here with immunity. Does this diplomat's son, is he entitled to that immunity? Let's begin with this video. This is a Sunny Isles Beach lieutenant making a traffic stop. You can see the lights flashing there. Moments later, you'll see several motorcycles drive by. Police say the teen of an Israeli diplomat ran down that officer on his bike. Mr. Gill is a diplomat son. He has consular immunity. The 19-year-old is Avraham Gill. He's the son of Ellie Gill, who is counsel at the Israeli consulate in Miami. Gill appears to be crying in his mugshot. The track of his tears begins on... You think that you think that he was taught to cry in the mugshot? Why would you cry in the mugshot after you just decided to run a police officer over? Look at that. Look at that. In his mugshot, the track of his tears begins on Collins Avenue in Sunny Isles Beach. These pictures tell part of the story. One, two, three, four. Injuries to the officer's leg. A motorcycle down in the middle of Collins Avenue. And a Sunny Isles Beach police officer taken to the hospital. Let me walk you through this according to the arrest report. It begins with him on a traffic stop and he's right about here. And all of a sudden he sees this motorcycle and it's weaving in and out of traffic. So what does he do? He puts his hand up and he goes, stop. According to the arrest report, the suspect keeps on going, runs the officer over. What does the officer do? He grabs the suspect off the motorcycle down to the ground, the lieutenant taken to the hospital. Hill's attorneys argue that he should have diplomatic immunity and he was released. Sources say- Man, that's crazy that their only argument, their, the only argument that they have for this insane moron running over police officer is that he should have diplomatic immunity. Let me ask you guys a question. Why does the United States give people diplomatic immunity? What kind of sense does that make? Make that make sense. In this case has made its way to the U.S. government. Gill facing several charges, among them aggravated battery and a law enforcement officer, all because police say he couldn't practice patience. Your Honor, the state will be deferring to defense counsel's uh, representation that diplomatic community bars this crime. And that'll be a very interesting argument. I can tell you that the U.S. State Department is aware of this case. They are now involved. As far as the officer goes, he remains out of work. We are told from Gill's side of this that there's a lot of unanswered questions. He has his side of the story. We'll stay on top of this story for you. There is no, there is no Gill side of the story. Like, dude ran the, ran the cop over. You know what I mean? Like, what side of, the, what other side of the story is there? The only side of the story that there is is oh boy trying to make up excuses because he's supposed to have immunity. What about some consequences? You know what I'm saying? What about the consequences? Somebody make it make sense. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make, make this make sense. A teenager only on 10. A teenager facing a judge accused of running over a police officer. We're learning the suspect is the son of a diplomat and his attorney says he has immunity. Local 10's Christian Larissa is live in Sunny Isles Beach with the exclusive Christian. These are very serious charges against this young man, but we're learning these charges may end up being dropped because this father works for the Israeli consulate here in Miami. But this supposed immunity is under question tonight. And you know what's you know what's interesting about this? 
How many people have seen this in the national news? Fox ain't really saying too much. I didn't see anything from Fox. I, I didn't see any Washington uh, Post article. Well, actually, there is a Washington. No, I didn't see any Washington Post articles. I got a New York Post article, but I didn't see any Washington Post articles. Anybody talking about this on NBC or anywhere? If you guys see those national news articles, make sure you shoot them to me so we could check them out. But I haven't seen too much national news coverage on this. Here go my question for you guys. Why do you think that is? Let me know in the comment section what you think, why you guys think that might be. This is 19-year-old Abraham Gill's mugshot. He was arrested after police say he ran over a cop. Sunny Isles Beach police say it happened over the weekend. The police report says an officer was conducting a traffic stop on Collins Avenue near 174th Street. The officer reportedly spotted Gill on a motorcycle weaving in and out of traffic and gave him loud verbal lawful commands to stop. The officer claiming not only did Gill ignore him, he says the young man on the motorcycle intentionally ran him over. The policeman survived, but detectives say his leg was incapacitated. Gill was arrested and charged for resisting an officer with violence and aggravated assault on a cop. But when he got to court, they let him go home. Mr. Gill is a diplomat son. He has consular immunity. Turns out Gill is a son of Eli Gill, a consul for administration under the Consulate General for Israel in Miami. His attorney claiming, therefore, he has something called consular immunity from criminal jurisdictions. The immunity that's given to diplomats and their families <laughs> when they're stationed hey, here in the United hey, States. Hey, that's hilarious. Hey, shout out to Mike. Hey, you know that's probably what they would say, too. That's exactly what they would say. If you guys agree that that's probably what they would say, give me a thumbs up. If y'all disagree, give me a thumbs down. But this immunity privilege may not apply to all categories of diplomatic workers and their families, says legal analyst David Weinstein. Diplomatic immunity is not given to people who are called consul. Hey, y'all hear what the name of, of this legal analyst was? Y'all see what his name is? Look at the bottom of the screen right here. Hold officials. on, look, look. You see that? And those are people who are not... <laughs> people who are called... Hold on real quick. Of diplomatic workers and their families says legal analyst david weinstein diplomatic mm. immunity is not given to people who are called consular officials and those are people who are not the head diplomatic agent of a foreign country here in the united states so there is a distinction so we've been reaching out to the israeli consulate here in miami Miami for the reaction and to ask them directly if they believe this consular immunity applies in this case so far their comment has been no comment. Live in Sunny Isles Beach, I'm Christian De La Rosa. Level 10. Is, it, is anybody surprised? Is anybody surprised that their comment has been no comment? <laughs> if, if you're not surprised that their comment has been no comment, give me a thumbs up. We all know that's that's what they do. That's 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 how they get down. We're gonna say everything and not say it, and we're gonna try to get you to say something. You know what I'm saying? We 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 know the hustle, man. We know how that we know how that works. We know how that works. People trying to play word games. We know how that works. That's one of the reasons why so many are lawyers, and y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, we didn't we, we didn't say it and we're going to try to get you to say it so that we can say that you said it and we didn't say it. And I can show on paper that I never said that. Like, ain't nobody playing, man. Them, like they said at the bar on Star Wars, the mind tricks don't work on me. But today we begin with a new twist in a story you saw first on 10 involving the arrest of an Israeli diplomat's son. The teen is accused of intentionally running over an officer. His attorney claims he has immunity because of his connections, but the State Department says otherwise. Local 10's Rush Lowe is live in Sunny Isles Beach with the latest Rush. Yeah, when we first brought you the story, a lot of people said, wait a minute here, why does this teenager have diplomatic immunity? And in court, it was a Saturday, the prosecutor took the defense's word for it. Now this case has gone from Sunny Isles Beach to the United States State Department. And the State Department now saying no. Why did the prosecutor just take their word for it and not ask for like an extension until they knew more about it and then came back with the information? Let me ask you guys a question. Why would the prosecutor take, their, take the word for it? Does that make any sense?
Since when do prosecutors... I'm going to just take your word for it. Since when do the prosecutors do that? Here, Why does this teenager have diplomatic immunity? And in court, it was a Saturday, the prosecutor took the defense's word for it. Now this case has gone from Sunny Isles Beach to the United States State Department. And the State Department now saying, no, this teen does not have immunity. Just had a motorcycle car to run me over. I got one something in custody. That is the breathless voice of Sunny Isles Beach Lieutenant Ruben Zamora moments after... He was run over, say police, by 19-year-old Abraham Hill, and that's where the story begins. The state will be deferring to defense counsel's uh, representation that diplomatic immunity bars this crime. In simple words, Gill was let out of jail without paying a penny because his defense made an argument that diplomatic immunity applies because his dad is counsel for the Israeli consulate. But here's the curveball. The United States State Department has now got involved and said the opposite. They say diplomatic immunity does not apply in this case. <laughs> Gill has had several run-ins with cops. On Wednesday, we brought you the story out of Miami Shores, where cops say he fled from them, and then on another occasion, they pulled him over for traffic violations and... One well, of your parents is a diplomat? Yeah. And uh, for what country? Uh, Israel, did you get me a problem? So now the question is, what happens with his current case of aggravated battery and a law enforcement officer? His defense tells Local 10 they are confident he will be exonerated. The Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office... You can tell this dude is spoiled, rotten... And he's never had any consequences in his life. And I bet you this clown is one of those disgusting, spoiled, rotten pieces of trash that's extra disrespectful to his parents. Yeah, exactly. Shout out to Black Knight Discussions. Facts. Black Knight Discussion says, I bet this dude is at home doing the Peter Griffin dance talking about can't touch me. Facts. And sounding like Peter Griffin, too. It says, quote, the defense counsel's representation was relied upon and the defendant was released on his own recognizance after receiving confirmation from the state department office of foreign missions that neither the defendant nor his father have diplomatic immunity we are proceeding as usual with our investigation mr gill remains charged and the case is still open so now this gets very interesting it goes from immunity to no immunity could the state theoretically change the bond theoretically yes but our sources say that doesn't appear likely to happen although the state is reviewing now every aspect of this case and of course we will stay on top of it for you for now i'm live in sunny isles beach rosh low local 10 news all right so there's that all right so you know there was an uh an article uh from the new york times or i'm sorry from the new york post we're going to just take a quick look at it all right. Israeli diplomat son denied immunity after running into cop with motorcycle because he hated waiting in traffic. So, you know, this dude was uh, that was that was it. That's why he did it, because he was he hated waiting, waiting in traffic.